Today I'm going to be showing you how to make matoke with beef stew or green bananas with beef stew. It's quick, easy, simple and delicious as always. If you are new here, welcome to In Food Specials where the recipes are always simple. Each week I upload my videos two to three times so switch on or turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload my videos. So I've been boiling my meat for around one hour because I want my meat to be very tender because of the kids. So it's almost ready. This is a very quick lunch or dinner recipe. So in this recipe, I'll be using onion, tomato, coriander, bananas or green bananas, of course, paprika, garlic powder, cumin, one stock cube, cooking oil, and of course, salt it is that simple so this is a very simple recipe as i've said so as our meat continues to dry up i'm going to be chopping my onion and for today's recipe i'm going to be using white onion i'm going to add this in a small bowl then in the same pot, I'm going to add a little bit of cooking oil. Next, I'll add my onion. Next, I'll chop my coriander stems. If you usually throw away coriander stems, you're missing a lot of flavor. Coriander stems are usually extra flavorful, so don't throw them away. Stir. Next, I'll add my tomato. This is a recipe for two people. You can double up the amount of ingredients and also if you have missed a thing or two about the ingredients you can check them in the description box. Check on your onions so that they don't burn. You just want them to be soft, not browning. My onions are soft. I'm going to add my tomatoes. Stir. Then next I'm going to be adding half a tablespoon of tomato paste. Then I'll stir. I'll add my spices. Then I'll add my beef stock seasoning cube and one cube. Then I'll stir. So my tomatoes are ready. Next I'm going to add my meat. in and at this point you'll be tempted to pick a piece or two of meat because it's smelling amazing so this is how it's looking at this point I'll add my green bananas or matoke Stir. and I'll add 
about one and a half cups of water. Then you'll cover this and let this simmer for around 10 minutes. Bananas don't take, green bananas don't take a lot of time while cooking. So you watch over your bananas so that they don't overcook. Remember our meat is already tender because we boiled it before. So watch over your bananas. So I'll check my seasoning. So my seasoning is just okay. I love simple dishes that turn out amazing. My lunch is going to be yummy. So I'm going to garnish my matoke with coriander. Because coriander smells amazing. It smells amazing. Then I'll turn off the gas and give it a stir. Then now it's time to serve. I'm going to prick my plate. Then I will serve this in my plate. Look how amazing it looks. This looks absolutely delicious. If you try out this recipe, you will always make matoke my way. I love it this way. It's usually yummy. <laughs> Then lastly, I'll add some extra sauce. My food is smelling amazing and I love the outcome because I love matoke. If you enjoyed watching me make this matoke recipe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hope you also try making this simple and amazing recipe.